Wow. Tia Clayton dominates in her season opener. And Jaden Hibbert did this to his fans. While Jeladi Gordon impresses in his first race. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know the next video drops to jump a bit at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, the Bowerman Watch Male Athlete of the Year for 2023, Jamaica's remarkable Jaden Hibbert. Well, he was doing autographs. Yes, you heard me right. Um, at the Arkansas Invitational. And uh, the fans lined up. Jane Hibbert, I mean, you know, he went, he went to Kingston College. So, you know, he's a smooth operator. Very, very classic young man. And really loved it. Great to see him interacting with his fans. And also a great idea to have him there as a youngster inspiring other young athletes. Jaden Hibbert's future looks bright. In fact, if he remains healthy, he will be a major factor in the finals of the men's triple jump for the Paris Olympic Games. The youngster already holds the world record in that event as a junior. Do go check out our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. If you desire to become financially literate, then financially free and ultimately wealthy, check us out. We will leave a link in the description below. Our newest video is up. It is entitled, Three Steps Out of Financial Hell. Welcome to the movement. If you are here, you are special because you want to achieve financial literacy, then financial freedom, and ultimately wealth. So check out the video if you want to get out of that financial hell. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Help us grow. Join the community because you know what we do here. It's about the community royals. Link in the description below. Charity Young opened her 2024 season yesterday at the University of South Carolina's Invitational, running a time of 1 minute 24.4 in the 600 meters, as she posted to her social media pages. St. Thomas, Jamaica's Jelani Gordon, impressed in his very, very first collegiate race. Of course, this was in the indoor season. This happened yesterday for his new school, which is the University of Georgia. Jelani opened up with a blazing time of 6.60 seconds over the 60 meter dash, the third fastest time in the program's history. Very impressive run from young Jelani Gordon. Now, for the reason you clicked on the video, Tia Clayton opened up her 2024 season in the 60 meter dash at the J3A's Puma Anderson Fuller track meet, development track meet, taking place as we are recording this currently. Our team is on hand. We told you we'll be covering this for you today. She won in a blistering and commanding fashion in the 60 meter dash. She looks really good, people. First race for the season, she looks really, really good. Take a gander at Tia Clayton dominating. Tia Clayton ran in section three and won in a time of 7.22 seconds ahead of the likes of Crystal Slowly, Shakora Wallace, Mikhail Moody and others. Now ultimately, 
it was Tia Payne who won that section, the 60 meter dash in a winning time of, of, of 7.22. Now these are timed finals. What that means is um, they run different sections and the person who comes up, yes, the person who comes out with the fastest time over all the sections ran is a winner. And ultimately the winner was Tia Clayton. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Um, she looked really good, people. 7.22 to open her first race, 60 meter dash. She looked really fast, comfortable, relaxed. Shoulders looked a little tight, but all in all, great performance. Um, wow. What, what can I say? Wow. Um, she is looking great for the season. Very, very happy to see Tia Clayton out and about running comfortably and looking really, really good. Like I said, there's a massive difference between running the 60 meter indoor people and the 60 meters outdoor indoors. Um, it's a controlled environment. There's no wind, no, no, ex nothing like that. Um, it's not so in the outdoors. So a dominant and commanding performance there by Tia Clayton at the J3A's Puma Fuller Anderson. Am I correct? <laughs> they meet going on at the GC Foster College. All right. <laughs> she looked really, really good. Um, J Jelani Gordon, great run, his first run. Um, he looks really good, people. 6.60, first race, 60 meter dash. In very impressive. As you, you heard, they're third fastest in the, in, in the program's history. He looked good. We're doing really, really well now. The season has just started and over the last couple of days, the Jamaican collegiate athletes are, are looking really, really impressive as, you know, one would expect. Um, also, congrats uh, there to Cherokee Young. We hope she has an injury-free year. I, I'm a big fan of Cherokee Young. I personally believe that that young lady is a tremendous 400 meter talent. So she has opened her season officially. And um, once we get the race, we'll share it with you. She, she seems confident, just looking forward to see what she does uh, later today. Also, Jaden Hibbert getting the star treatment, which he definitely deserves. I mean, he's a remarkable talent um, and we're huge fans. Can't wait to see what he does um, when he gets on the sands for the triple jump. Now, don't forget to go over there and support our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. We will leave a link in the description below. Stick with us throughout the day. We'll be covering the meet happening at the GC Foster, the J3A's uh, Puma Development Meet. Um, remember, you also leave well also um leave a comment we'd love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button remember you are royals you are kings and queens bless us